Hey everyone, welcome back to a channel. No, <laughs> everyone, welcome back to my channel. Um, I know I've been doing a lot of videos lately, but I have so many that I've been asked to do that I just need to catch up on. And after that, I'm pretty much out of stuff. <laughs> so anyway, this one was asked quite a while ago, but I'll explain in a second. Okay, so I was asked to review my um, Speedy 30 in the Multicolor Noir. And the reason it took me so long to do this was because I wanted to use it a little bit before I kind of gave my actual opinion and stuff like that on it. So I haven't had it all that long and I haven't used it that much, but I can definitely give you my honest opinion and some differences between that and my Speedy Bandolier in the 30. Okay, so first off, the multicolor was a collaboration between Louis Vuitton and the Japanese... Um, uh, why can't I think of the word? The Japanese designer Takashi Murakami. I know I'm not saying that correct, but anyway. And it came out in 2003. I cannot believe it was that long ago. I was just looking it up and stuff, and I cannot believe it was 2003. Gosh, it's just so long ago. I feel like it hasn't been that long. But they are 33 different colors throughout the bags, and... I always thought that they were screen printed. I couldn't find anything on it somehow. I think I was looking up the wrong stuff, but I could have swore that they were screen printed. Might be wrong, but anyway, this is what mine looks like. And I love it, love it, love it. Um, mine has the purple and white in the front. So this is the original style. After this one, they came out with another one that I believe this is shorter and there are, um, like the flower things on here instead of having the LVs and the LVs would be on right on the outside. So that is a change that was made. <clears throat> I also believe that there's something different with the locks but I can't quite remember. Um, if you go watch Leo Lion LV's video on hers, she's got the, the newer one so you can hear all about the newer version. Um, anyway, so it's got these this cool little push lock which I believe is the exact same thing as the Pochette Matisse and you just push it like that and there is a pocket. Um, a lot of the videos that I watched, people don't use the pocket. However, I usually do. I don't have anything in there at this moment because I just used it today um, and that was it. But typically if I use it more, since I've said many times that I carry cash for groceries, instead of carrying it, you know, a smaller little bag thing inside, I will actually put my cash in here because this is not, this is my iPhone um, 7. As you can see, it would not fit in there. <laughs> I don't know if any phone that would fit in these anymore that's what it's like so unless you want to carry it like that yeah it'll fit but no I definitely wouldn't do that um, people say that they don't use it because it doesn't hold much and it's too hard to open and close um, I put the cash in there and I don't have a problem getting in and out of it and typically when I push it you know it closes just fine so that's how easy that was um, so it comes with that and that's awesome it comes with this clochette and on mine it says Louis Vuitton Paris made in France you probably can't see it Sort of, maybe, I don't know. But anyway, inside these, which other bags have them, that's where the keys are stored, like this. So there are the keys for the bag, for the lock. They look like that. And they each say Louis Vuitton on them. I'm gonna see if I can get closer so you can see this. Oops, hold on. Let's see. Uh, if you, can't, you can see it a little bit, but not really. Anyway, that's where the keys are. The hardware on this bag is so thick and so nice. However, I feel like the keys feel hollow. Like they don't feel, I don't know, they feel nice, but they don't feel, like, for example, the keys that go in the regular speedies, they feel so much thicker. This, these are, I mean, they are hollow because there's like little hole in them. Gosh, you didn't focus on that at all. But there's a little hole on them anyway. <laughs> but anyway, that's how it goes and it just slips right in there. So when I was saying that there is a lock, there is. You got this big heavy piece of brass on here. And I'm actually thinking because these are older that these are actually brass and not brass coated. Like the new pieces that you get, they are not solid brass anymore. I don't care what anybody says, they're not. If they were, they wouldn't be chipping. They wouldn't be doing all the stuff that brass doesn't do. So yeah. So anyway, you zip it closed and it's got this giant lock over here and you just push it in there like that. And that is it, oh my gosh. Like, 
Oh, it's so pretty and I love this blue. I just love all the colors of this bag. Oh my gosh. Anyway, so you could stick the keys in there and you could lock it. Um, I don't lock it, I don't have any reason to. And I pretty much don't close it unless I'm storing it. And then I close it so that, I don't know. That's just how I keep it. Anyway, so you open it by pushing this and it's only one side that moves. The other side is just a stationary piece. There are <clears throat> four little brass studs on each one of these and on the back. There is also, you know, four of these huge, heavy brass, I wouldn't call them feet, just like corner pieces. I don't know what you'd really call it. But yeah, there's those on each side. There are no feet on the bottom. And as all of you know, if it is authentic, there is going to be one piece of canvas that goes all the way around so it will be right side up on one side and upside down on the other. This side is my favorite. It has my favorite purple. This is the best purple. Um, there is, let's see, there's that purple and then there's like this deeper purple here which is also so beautiful. Let's see. There's also this purple, which is like a baby purple, and it's pretty, but, and then you've got like a purple pink and a pink. Oh, I just love it. I love all the different variations of the colors. I originally wanted to find this bag that had that specific purple in the front. Like I wanted it here, but I couldn't find it. Like everyone that I found, the bags were super dark. They were super old, they had issues or they looked brand new, but they were super expensive. So for some reason, the purples either are worn down or they're super expensive. So yeah, I did find some that had the dark blue. Oh my gosh, where's that color? I think it's on this side. This beautiful blue, when it's got those, the dark blue and the bright blue in the front, oh, that was pretty too. But when I was looking, I didn't find that. So this is the one I got and I'm super happy with it. I really love it. And yes, mine is pre-loved. If anybody's curious, it is pre-loved. Okay, so the inside of these open it up, is this material. I think it is a micro suede. I think that's what it's called, but it is super nice. And mine being used, and actually a ton of the pre-loved ones that I saw were clean. So I was always worried that stuff like this would get really dirty, but as many pre-loved ones that I, as I saw and they were this clean, yeah, they can't, it can't be that bad. So... Anyway, this is what mine looks like right now. I've got a, you know, a ton of stuff in there. Um, so that's what the whole inside is like. And there is one pocket, but it's a slip pocket and it's further down. So, okay, just to show you a comparison. I'm sure everyone knows this, but it, just in case you don't, the original Speedy has one flat pocket. All the older versions have a slip pocket, a nice size slip pocket. All the newer versions have a, have a zipper pocket, but, <clears throat> and it's at the very top. So these are at towards the bottom of the bag and it's a nice size. It fits my pocket organizer in it perfect. I don't know if it fits my phone. It does not fit my phone. So phones nowadays are not gonna fit in there. They'll fit in there standing up like that, but trying to put it in there sideways isn't gonna happen. So I put my pocket organizer in there because it fits perfectly, it goes in really easy and I can find it. So these are a major black hole just like the regular speedy so what i do when i use it i'm not using my um cosmetic pouch which is kind of rare for me instead i'm using my pochette accessories or accessoire whatever you want to say i'm using this today and i've just got you know all the stuff that would be floating around the bottom in here along with lip glosses and stuff so i didn't have to search so i put all that in there and besides that i pretty much have all the normal stuff that i would normally carry okay there's not much else to say on that. So what I wanted to do is talk about a few differences between this and the other Speedies. Okay, one thing, I can't remember if I mentioned this before or if I only mentioned it on my Instagram, but oh, hold on, before I mention it, I wanna tell you how, um, how old this one is because that is also part of the difference. This one was made, uh, what does it say? Oh, it's hard to read it a little bit. It's either, <laughs> in it's either 05 04 oh my god I can't read it oh my god I can't read it anymore that last number's almost gone um I think back then 
it was May 2004 because they did the month and the year instead of the weeks. So this one was made in May 2004. Okay, so that matters. So, and if you didn't know for date codes, before 2006, it was the month and the year. And after 2006, it was um, the weeks and the year. So this one is May 2006. Four. May 2004. So that's how old this one is. This one is made in 2014. This was made the 30th week of 2014. So there are some differences that are very obvious. So what I was going to say is... I don't know if I mentioned this on here or if I mentioned on Instagram, but the handles of, of my Noir bag are thicker than my Speedy 30. I don't know if you're going to be able to tell when I hold it up, but I'm going to try to show you. Significantly bigger. Like, look at that. I don't know. It might be hard for you to tell, but that it's like majorly different. So when I put it on my Instagram, I got a few direct messages and a ton of people commented down below. And... Some people that had the newer versions of this one said that theirs were the same. But then the people that had the older ones were saying, oh my gosh, I didn't think about that. And yes, they are so much thicker. And they are. They are so much thicker. When I was carrying it, I was like, why is, what is so different? Something is different. What is so different? Because I'm so used to carrying the Speedy. And I finally pulled it down and I looked at them and they are, it's so much thicker. But the funny thing is this one's from 2004 and my Speedy 25 is from 2004. And they're still different. So it's not like they just started to make these smaller because they didn't. They just it had to have been just these specific bags because they were just made so much different. The canvas on here though is majorly thicker, majorly thicker than my Speedy 30. I mean, these, this still isn't as thin as my Iana or as my Delightful PM. This is still thicker, but comparing this to this, this is so, so much thicker. It was made so much thicker. I can just feel how much more durable this is. Not to say that that's not, but this just, I don't know. It just feels like it is. Um, anyway, I still don't use an organizer with this one. I don't feel like I need to. Kind of kind of weird to say because I've really started to really, really like my Aina so much because of the pockets and I'm loving all the pockets, but I just don't like the look of these with an organizer. I think it makes them look boxy and it doesn't have that sag. So if you don't like the sag and stuff, of course, the um, organizer is perfect. But for someone like me that likes the way it looks, yeah, so I just skip it. But this is how it looks completely full. And I like how it does this little dip in all the time and whenever it's sitting down it tends to just like crease in and do stuff like this I just think it's so pretty this was definitely the bag that I used when I did the if I was a bag tag I still think that it just represents me and people were talking about like the colors represent my tattoos and the studs are like how I like more rock music and I don't know, this is just an amazing bag. I know a lot of people have picked it up recently, have been looking at it, and they have really good resale value too. So if you keep them in good shape, you'll be able to resell them if you want to. I don't think that I ever would. I think that this is one that I would keep forever just because just looking at it makes me so happy. And when I use it, it's just, I don't know. I love it. And it's funny because I was so used to using my speedy bandolier that I got used to having the top handle and or I'd throw it over my shoulder and then I went to my petite noe which even when I used the Matisse ham handle uh, the Matisse hobo handle I could still put it over my shoulder so I kind of have had the option with every bag I've used lately to do it more than one way but when I used this today it was just like back to the old days of when I used to carry my speedy 30 all the time and I had the classics and I don't know what it is about this bag so yeah, and it, I feel like it's just gonna get better with time. And I did a ton of looking at pictures that I found on um, Pinterest where I was looking at ones that were old and like really patina and oh, I love it. I love the way it looks against the black. So in case you, any people didn't know, in case any of you didn't know, um, this is the Noir, which is the black. And it also comes in the Blanc, which is the white. And those are the only two colors that they come in. And they do come in a ton of different bags or used to come in. Everything now has to be pre-loved. Except apparently overseas, some websites have them still. So if you live overseas, you might be able to find a brand new one, but they are super pricey. Um, so I know it comes in a petite noe, 
with pockets on the side, which is really pretty. Um, it also comes in the Courtney. <sighs> love the Courtney. Comes in the MM and the GM. I think only those two sizes. I would really, really love to have the Courtney. Oh my goodness. It comes with a longer strap. I don't think it goes crossbody. I'm not 100% sure. I know for sure you can put it over your shoulder, um, but then also has a top handle and it's got studs on the side. Ah, love it. Yeah, I was totally between that bag and this one, but I decided to go with this one because it was my original Louis Vuitton. Like, it's what made me love Louis Vuitton. So yeah, I, oh, sorry, I forgot to mention that it does have the tab, like the classic, and it says Louis Vuitton Paris made in France on here. Ooh, if you can see that, I don't know. Yep, there you go. So, yeah. So it doesn't have the tab on the other side like the other classics do. But that's it. If I didn't answer your question, just leave it down below and I will try to answer it for you. If you wanted any extra kind of pictures of it, if you're looking to buy one and you're not sure of certain parts of it, what to look for, um, you can send me a direct message on Instagram and I can send you a picture, not a problem. Or just ask me a question down below and I will be glad to help you. I'm sure I missed something and if I did, yeah, like I said, just ask and I'll do my best to answer. Um, anything else? Yeah. So I hope that everyone has a wonderful day and I will see you guys again soon. Bye.